For the American Revolution Project, I was given Robert Livingston. Livingston was born on November 27, 1746 in New York City and sadly passed away on February 26, 1813. Like many other founding fathers, Livingston studied law at King's College in New York City. Livingston was the richest landowner in New York City during his time. He owned about 1 million acres of land. Robert and his brother William Livingston were both a part of the Sons of Liberty in 1776. The Sons of Liberty group would boycott and protest against the acts that the British emplaced. Livingston was a crucial figure in the American Revolution. However, he was an outsider on all the fighting and war that went on. So I would give him a B tier. Livingston was chosen by a state, New York, to be a part of the committee to create the Declaration of Independence. He helped draft the declaration, but before he was able to sign it, he got called off by his state. The Declaration of Independence was probably the most important piece during the whole Revolutionary War, other than the Treaty of Paris and the fighting going on between Britain's army and the colony's army. The Declaration of Independence describes how the people of the colonies wanted their independence away from Britain. It was passed by Congress on July 4th, 1776. Livingston was a part of the First and Second Continental Congress from 1775 to 1785. In 1777, during his time in the Continental Congress, he was chosen by New York to be the Chancellor. Being a Chancellor in New York, he was chosen to be in the Foreign Affairs Committee, where he was a secretary and helped make peace with Britain. Livingston also assisted the colonies with financial affairs, military issues, and legal organization. Livingston was known and loved by many of the people in the colonies, including George Washington. Livingston was the one to rely the message that the Treaty of Paris was signed to George Washington when it was signed in Paris. Also, at the first inauguration, he swore in George Washington by the oath of office. Following my idea of Robert Livingston being a B tier, I believe he should not be higher because he was on the outside during the war. He was writing the documents and leading the colonies. Even though doing both of those things was very important, he was not physically fighting in the Revolutionary War that granted them independence. To add on to my previous idea, I would not rank Robert Livingston anything lower than a B tier. This is because even though Livingston was on the outside of the war, he did help the colonies gain independence from Britain. Even though not a lot of people today know who Robert Livingston is, back then, many of the people in the colonies knew who he was, was very proud of what he did, and was very thankful for what he did, including George Washington. To add on, to why Robert Livingston should not be ranked lower than a B tier, it is because Robert Livingston helped lead multiple protests with the Sons of Liberty. The Sons of Liberty are a very well-known group and especially were back then. They caused a lot of damage and also caused a big impact on the independence of the colonies. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you learned something about Robert Livingston because I sure did.